Day friends, I thought I would actually show you guys doing my makeup on stories today. Um, I'm not gonna put a ton on, but I didn't wear anything yesterday, and you can see I'm still dealing with this kind of leftover breakout. It's totally cleared up now, but I'm gonna have redness here for probably another month. Um, I tend to hold a lot of pigment when I have breakouts after they start to heal, which is really annoying. Um, but I do have a couple of products. The names I can't remember exactly. I think it's the niacinamide that I use that really helps with the pigmentation. Um, I don't know why I can't remember that today. But anyway, I thought today I would put on just a little bit of makeup to try and hide this and just kind of feel a little bit refreshed. So I don't even know what I'm going to put on yet. So we're going to do this together. And I'm not going to put a ton on. So I'm actually just going to start with some concealer. It makes me laugh. I make the funniest faces when I'm actually putting this stuff on. But I'm not going to wear a ton of foundation today. So I'm really just putting concealer where I feel like I need to hide things. So this is the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Concealer, which I absolutely love. It is nice and light, um, feels really good on the skin, and it wears really well. So I'm just going to tap all of this in right now and just kind of get rid of some of the redness. I don't know if anyone else suffers from this. If you do, let me know because I feel like it's just me sometimes. I tend to get a lot of redness right around here and I don't know why. Um, I'm pretty careful about what I use on my skin to kind of cleanse it and stuff. And it's not really breakouts, it's just like my skin gets so I was actually going to try and upload um, or include the link directly to the story for this uh, concealer. Sorry, I can't even talk right now. But um, it's acting up right now. So I will link everything that I use at the end and make sure that you guys can find it all. So... Okay, so I've worked in the concealer, and you can see this one actually works pretty well. Like, I will go over this again at the end, um, just to make sure it's really covered up um, when I do kind of my setting powder, but it does a good job of kind of hiding the overall redness. So really today, I could just leave it there, but I'm not going to. What I am going to do, and I literally have my giant makeup bag with me right here. I love this makeup bag, it's from Kath Kitson. I ordered it online. So I'm gonna use a little bit of a stick foundation just on my cheeks and forehead. I don't put anything on my nose because I find a lot of foundation, um, if I put it directly on my nose, it just kind of sinks in my pores. Doesn't matter which foundation I use. So I tend to just use what's on my brush for blending it in my cheeks and my forehead. And that's what I'll do for coverage on my um, nose. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, and unfortunately, this particular foundation stick is discontinued, but there's a couple of really good ones that are similar, and I will link those as well. So then this brush, this is the brush I actually shared on my stories yesterday. It's part of the um, It Cosmetics special sale that I linked to. Um, it's a different color. It's actually a silver one, which is really nice, but this is my favorite, favorite foundation brush ever. It is so good. It blends amazingly so yeah so you can see it just it's so soft and it blends really well and so yeah I just take kind of what's left on the brush from blending it in my cheeks and my forehead and along my jawline make sure you get rid of any line of demarcation <laughs> blend it in good seriously you shouldn't have a line of demarcation because your foundation should match your skin this is not the 90s um, I need to share a link to the video. I don't know if you've seen it, but it is by Jamie French, who is a beauty blogger, um, YouTuber, and it's so funny. It's if um, YouTube existed in the 90s and doing a makeup tutorial, and it's hilarious if you haven't seen it. I will try and find a link and share it. Okay, so that's obviously really well blended, but as you can see, I don't want, you know, it to be obvious, so I tend to blend. My eyebrows always look crazy right after I've blended everything, and I'm just gonna add a tiny bit more concealer to that spot. I'm using the same one. It's the Becca Aqua Luminous 
concealer. I love their foundation too. I just thought I would go with something easy today. Okay, while I'm waiting for that to just sit for a few minutes so that I can blend it, but it'll still cover, I'm just gonna brush my eyebrows up. Guys, my eyebrows are sketchy, okay? So I am a child of the 90s. Actually, I'm a child of the 80s. I'm gonna be 39 this year, but anyway. Um, so I was a teenager in the 90s, and of course, I had no eyebrows because that's what we did, and it was not cool, but anyway. Um, I have had microblading done twice and I absolutely love what it did for my brows, not only in terms of kind of like filling them in, but also just allowing me to know exactly where I should. Anyway, I need to get my microblading done again. So badly. But obviously that won't be happening for a while. But anyway. And I was brushing it up with this, which is the... It Cosmetics Brow Power. This is their universal taupe. It works for everyone. It is amazing. This is the one that if you use my code, and I'm gonna share all this at the end as well, um, for the um, It Cosmetics sale, if you use code Sparkles Gift, I have to double check that, but I will share it at the end. Um, if you use that code, you will get one of these with your order and it's 20% off the items that I shared yesterday. So, okay, on to powder. And my everyday powder that I use is this one. It is the Fit Me powder um, from Maybelline. So I use a fair amount of powder because I have combination skin and if I don't, nothing really stays on my face. So anytime I've used concealer to kind of cover something up, I will use a small concealer brush. This one is Real Techniques, which is my favorite um, for affordable makeup brushes. They are awesome. And back in the day, I could find them at Winners all the time. But of course, that's not happening now. So after I add that, then I will just use a great big fluffy brush. This one is so old, but I have a few that are even better quality but this one I just love the way it applies the powder like it can take a lot of abuse like you can see <laughs> so once that's done now I have to go back and fix my eyebrows again and honestly guys I want to film filling these in but I can't it is so hard for me to do you won't even see me because I have to get so close to the mirror <laughs> <laughs> to fill them in. Um, I don't know why I'm like that, but anyway, I'm going to do those and then I will be right back. Um, before I do that, I will show you what I use. A couple of products. So I do love the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Dip Brow, but also I love this one. This is an ELF Cosmetics Eyes, Lips, Face, um, and it is super cheap. This is like $4 and it works really well. To be honest, it is the best dupe I've ever found for the Dip Brow. And I need some new dip brows, so I grabbed this one quickly at the drugstore a little while ago. And then I will also use this to kind of define, so kind of define the under area and then my arch, and then fill in a little bit with this. So <laughs> I am halfway done one, so I thought I would just try, see, I can't do it. Um, but I thought I would at least try showing you a little bit. I use a very thin brush. This one was like a cheap drugstore one, but it works really well. Um, and I just kind of work with them until I'm decently happy. When I have microblading done, I don't need to do much of anything. Okay, so then for this one, I'm gonna come in here. And just kind of define it a little bit and then I'm going to blend it with my spoolie all right guys I'm actually pretty excited that I was able to do that okay you guys I'm pretty excited oh that's the wrong side I'm pretty excited I managed to at least film one and then this one I'm just blending out right now and then this is the product I was trying to show you. This is the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. It's pretty good. Um, it's a good drugstore find. And I will just use a little bit of this 
just to kind of set them in place. You have to be really careful with this one though because it's really easy to kind of smudge some of the color onto your face and then I get annoyed and I have to kind of clean it up, but today we're okay. All right, okay, so that is base. What I use next is always blush. If I don't use blush, I look sickly, very sickly. Um, unless it's summer and I've got a bit of a tan. Um, the one I love is this one from Becca. This one is called, it's Snapdragon. Okay, so the thing about this blush is it looks like I'm putting a ton on. I blend after I put it on. But this one also I find it wears on your skin and becomes like really natural pretty quickly. So even after blending it, see it's not so bright looking. So I will blend it again with my big poofy powder brush. Yeah, it's pretty good. My brows look super bold. I don't know if I'm crazy about that. Brows are my biggest struggle, guys. It's like the least talented I am. Okay, so after a little bit of blush, always highlighter. I'm a highlighter whore, let's be real. Um, and there are two that I love. One is the um, Champagne Pop by Becca. Um, the Becca um, Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Highlighter is my favorite. I don't know why I can't talk. Um, I love Champagne Pop. It is my favorite, but it is shattered right now, so I have to be really... So this one is really pretty. I'm going to show you right now. It's just this really pretty kind of like purpley color. It's almost like a purpley pink. Um, Champagne Pop is a little more natural. Yeah, see this one? It's kind of like a unicorn highlight, but it's so pretty. And... I love just a little bit. Okay, honestly, I probably use more highlight than I should. I always do it on my cheekbones and then on my cupid's bow, and then I'll do it right down the front like this. And this is just another cute, it's a setting brush um, by Real Techniques again. Okay, the other place I wear it all the time is on my eyes these days, guys. And the reason for that is because I'm lazy and doing eyeshadow is the thing I'm worst at. And the reason for that is I have hooded eyes and I've never learned to really properly do like fancy eye things. So I go pretty neutral. Okay, now if I was going somewhere, I would put some eyeliner on, but I'm not. I'm literally hanging out around my house. So I'm just gonna use some mascara. And this is my new favorite mascara. I need to get a bigger one. It is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And it's fabulous, absolutely fabulous. So I will apply that, and honestly, there are a few things as awkward as how you look on camera applying mascara. It's pretty awesome. And it's not easy either. Okay, seriously though, this mascara is amazing. You can get a waterproof and a non-waterproof version. I'm not a fan of waterproof mascara. Okay, and then one last thing, which I realized is not right here, so I'm gonna run and grab the lip gloss that I love. So last is lip gloss. This is my favorite. My bestie, Aran, turned me on to it. This is the Buxom Plumping Lip Cream in White Russian. It is gorgeous and it tingles on your lips. It feels amazing. It's just so good. And so, a swipe of that. And I am good to go. So there you go. That is my everyday makeup done for the weekend. Pretty happy with how it turned out and hopefully you guys actually stayed with stories and checked this all out. Um, I'm going to be adding the links. Anything that I wasn't able to link directly to the story I will link at the end as well as the It Cosmetics sale um, and the code that you can use if you're ordering um, to get the brow power in Universal Taupe for free. So cool.